Welcome to the Potting Shed Studio and Gallery and this evening we're going to look at painting a camellia bud and two leaves. This is the this is the photograph so we need a limey green for the leaves and we need to leave the vein clear on both and then a nice shadow under there and like a pineapple type of arrangement here where the woods are just beginning to come through. Um, this is a photograph taken in our garden, so this is my own reference photograph. So the colours for this project are ultramarine, sap green, some sap green, lemon yellow, some rose and light red, lemon yellow and Naples yellow for the buds. And we're going to mix them to make a nice, we're going to mix the green and the lemon yellow together to make a really nice yellowy green for those two leaves. And then we need to mix the ultramarine blue with some sap green to make a nice dark green for the shadow area and I'm also going to add to that a little bit of the light red to darken the tone a little and then for the bud we need to mix some of the Naples yellow with just a tiny little bit of the lemon yellow we only need that in a few places so now we're mixed and we're ready to go so I clean my brush, change the water. Some clean water. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the bud. And I'm actually working on Bockingford cold pressed watercolour paper, 300 grams. And um, I'm working with an SAA all, size 10 all rounder brush. So we'll start with the, the bud and we'd be mainly doing wet in wet. So just start with the top of the bud and we're just wetting it, not soaking it, we're just wetting it slightly. Too much on your brush, just dry it and take it off. And from there we're going to drop in some rose, but not very strong. We just need a weakish colour. We're just going to drop some of that in the top and down at these edges. Clean my brush, use some water on your brush. And then we can just tease these out now. So we just want that to be nice and pale in the background. And then I'm going to pick up some of the Naples yellow. I'm just going to drop that in. And it'll mainly do its own thing.
let the water do the job. Lift a little bit of it out. Go back to the rows. I'm just going to drop a little bit more in. Nice little shady bits. And again, just let the colour do its own thing. come back to that later and put some detail in. So I'm just going to go to the bottom of the bud now. This is going to be too near and too close. We'll need to let that dry. So I'm just going to the bottom of the bud. Just wet the area and again not too much you need to wet it not soak it so take any little drops that you find out and we're going to put in some of the really light yellow that's been created with the Naples yellow and I've just put a tad bit of green in there I'm just going to let that fall in there. So that's a bit dark, so I'm now going to clean my brush and I'm going to go back in and just take some of that out because it's just a little dark. And like the top of the bud, this has various tones of the rose and a little bit of the light red. The light red just helps to tone down the rose a little bit, otherwise it's very bright. And we can just actually touch some of this in at little points and let it do its own thing. We clean our brush and then we can go back in. I'm going to just put a little bit of green in here. And just push it up into that rose. Trim a little bit back, just a little bit dark. I'm going to leave that to dry. We'll come back to this middle area when all that's dry. And now for the leaves. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to wet the working area and stay away from the vein in the centre. Going to wet it. And now we're looking at dropping the 
dark green in so we want some dark green in where the shadow area is slightly at the bottom of this leaf that's a bit thin so I'm just going to add a little bit more paint to that Let's take it up there. Just gonna add a bit of yellow in, it's a bit too dark. I'm going to work that up and I'm going to get lighter as I go up so now I'm just adding some sap green I'm just going to blend it through and very quickly then I'm going to go into the really yellow green and the same thing just blend it through Remembering to stay as far as we're away as you can off the vein of the leaf. And just quite a yellow tip. Well, that's one side of the leaf done and it's a similar process for the underside and again I'm just wetting the area with the brush I'm not soaking it and I'm controlling where the water goes to the line where the vein is showing. And again, I'm looking at that dark green here, a bit of yellow in there. Same process, I'm just going to go up so far and then I'm going to pick up the sap green, blend that through. And then pick up some of the yellow. yellow at the end just like the other leaf so quite controlled going up toward that tip and just finally just a touch of yellow coming up toward the end there Uh, 
and now we need to let that dry. So in the meantime, I'm going to go back to the bud. And now I can work on this middle section. Control where the water goes. Make sure you don't put too much on, otherwise it will seep into the worked area. And now the cat's come to say hello. I'm just mixing a little bit of the Naples yellow with a bit of lemon yellow. It's got just a slightly different hue as this um, bit of bud. And now I'm picking up some of the rose. I'm just going to come down to the bottom here. That's a bit too dark, so I'm just going to take the wash off and I'm just going to lift some of that out. Whilst the cat furs away at my elbow. that right and then drop some pink in on here as well And I'm just going to pop some green in here. That's a bit too dark. I'm just going to run that through to these darker bits underneath. And then I can come back when that's dry and start putting in some detail. So I'm going to go back to the bud at the top. I'm just going to add some more of this uh, really lovely. If you've never worked with Naples yellow before, it is a really lovely colour to work with. And it can do so many things when you're mixing it with other colours. So. And again, I need to go back to the rows and just drop some little bits in here and there to strengthen up a little bit some of the areas. I need to go back to the tip and I just need to strengthen up this tip. Just tiny dots. Don't need a lot. And then I've got a chance to come around this side as well. Just 
strengthen up where the bottom petals are forming from the top. on the shadow side so it's just a little bit darker on that side and I'll come back to that again and I think the other leaf I've got now is ready for working so again I'm going to start with the bottom part of the leaf just to give the top a little bit more to dry against that so again And I'm just going to dab this bit here because I want to form that um, shadow area around there. So I need my ultramarine and sap green. It needs to be darker. No pebbles. So about there, I'm going to start forming the arc that goes across. Because it's a shadow, it's quite a defined line. So I'm going to have to let that dry. to go to the other side and again I'm going to wet the area carefully remembering to leave the vein I'm thinking about where the arc goes it's about there I'm just wetting this area for now and then I'll have to leave that to dry. And again, back into the dark. Like I did before, I'm just going to drop that in. Remembering to stay away from the vein.
stuck in a bit of dark colour in there. So by giving the brush close to the paper, it's just lifted it out a little. There we go. So now I need to leave that to dry. So whilst that's doing that, I'm going to go back with a small brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of detail on the bud. Doesn't need much now. So I've got a sable size two. And I'm just going to pick up some rows and a little bit of the light red. And we're just going to touch where we can see that it's darker in areas. So there's a little bit of darker colour coming up to the tip there. And then around these areas here, it's quite strong, um, got quite a lot of sort of highlight here, little rough areas on the end of the petals that are forming. And we can just shape those in. And the same for this going around here, like the end of the petal, it's just forming there. So just touching it really delicately and it doesn't have to be a straight line, preferably not because then it'll look too controlled. And just define this edge just a little bit. So I haven't done a lot, but I've just took some colour in here and there and strengthened it up. Some tiny little bits of colour here and there. And if it looks too bright and it looks too harsh, clean your brush. Leave a little bit of water on and just wet it. And then it takes some of that harshness away. Some funny little shapes at the the edge of this leaf has sort of like come out to a point almost. Like little thorns, even though I know they're not. And they still look like it a bit. And then I need to watch this little area here because this is actually quite dark because it's on the shadow side. And it is quite a dark green. And I've got this funny little separation going down. It needs to be more rusty coloured. Another really fine bit there. So I'm just going to spread that a little bit and I'm going to wet my brush and I'm just going to dampen this and let that soften the edge there. And that other side still needs to be darker on the shadow side. So I'm going to go to the sap green and a little bit of the light red. And I'm just going to go into that area there and darken that. I'm 
you can just look for all these little oddities as you're going and decide if you need to put anything there or not. I just want this not as dark as the bit on the left there but I just want this a bit darker as well a bit greener so I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to drop some rows in here and just let it do its own thing there it'll find its way just a little bit darker and just let that travel up and this funny little stripey bits here I'm just going to use some of the light red very tiny bit on the tip. I'm just going to uneven that edge a little bit. There we go. a little bit out of the centre with a dry brush there we go so I'm going to leave that alone now and I'm going to go I'm going to go to the stalk actually because that's still not quite dry um, so I'm going to go to the stalk and this is quite a dark green um, but it's woody um, so it's not all green so we're going to build some dark green up and then we're going to add a little bit of light red to it to make it woody I don't want it too thick either. Just a little bit more of the red. And now I've got sort of a woody green, browny green. And I'm just going to paint that straight on. And I'm going to try and take note of these little cubey sort of, I don't know, look like pineapple sort of shapes as it's forming, as it's coming down. I'm just going to take note of those and then I'll actually outline them with a very dark green. And it dries. So I'm just going to leave little gaps at the moment so it reminds me of where I need to put the darker colour. almost like little lines So I can see the shapes I'm supposed to be marking out a bit later on. And that 
it's just going to go all the way down. Just to help that along a bit, I'm just going to pick up it up a bit of the light red and I'm just going to touch in places here and there just on that darker side where the shadow is underlying. And that'll just give it a little bit of texture. And uh, light and dark bit in there as well. But the pieces underneath actually here are quite dark. So I'm just going to darken those up a bit. Okay, so I'll touch this edge so that it doesn't look as if it's going to form a line. And then I'm just going to pull a little bit of that colour up the beginning of the stem just going into the vein only a little bit I think that it's dry enough for me now to go to do the other part of the leaf. So some clean water, excuse me, with clean water and then again we're going to work the same way as we did for the top leaf. Going to wet it enough and then we need some sap green. I'm very quickly going to go into the yellow. more of the lemon and yellow and we're just going to pull that through this area is still darker than the top because it's the leaf that's underneath And 
just going to touch that end. And I want more control over the point, so I'm just going to paint that very carefully in. There we go. And then underneath is um, just slightly lighter than that. Using the same method, just being very careful there because I don't want it to contaminate the vein. I'm just going to dab that end because I want to have total control over what goes there. And this is slightly lighter now on this side because it's coming out of the shadow. And then I'm going to go to the lemon yellow mainly and just pull that through. I'll just put a little bit darker green in at the base. It's the beauty about doing wet in wet. You've got time to actually adjust things and go through things, take some colour out, drop some more colour in, you know, getting it how you want it to be. So we've now done the underleaf with the shadow. Whilst that's just drying, I'm just going to go back to that stem. I'm just popping a little bit more green in there on that side. And then I'm going to add some light red again. making a much firmer stalk. So I'm just waiting for that to dry and in the meantime there's still a few little dark bits up here that I'd like to put in. I'm just going to go to the light red. Just 
setting cream really. better. So the last thing to do is um, put some veins on the leaves. I'll have to leave that bottom one to dry obviously and wait for a bit for that one. I'm still going to darken this up a bit just to give it that round feeling. So I think right, I'm waiting for that bottom um, leaf to dry. I'm going to go to the yellow, the tiny bit of sap green, I want there to be more yellow than green. I'm just going to test it out, see if it's the right colour to go in the vein. I'm going to mix it into that at the beginning. I think I might just get away with doing this one as well. I'm just going to go back to the light red and I'm just going to touch the beginnings of this so I'm going up there up to the vein I'm just going to 
just gives more realistic idea of the the way that the colour transfers up into the beginning of the vein. And so now what's left is the darkening of the area here, the separation of those little shapes and then some um, some small veins going across the leaves. We're not going to attempt to do lots of veins because that would be practically impossible. Uh, but we can give some suggestions as to veins going across. And uh, we'll mainly use the yellow. And I'm going to mix it with Naples yellow. It's more like a creamy yellow rather than just a bold yellow. And that'll help us to do it a little bit better. I'm going to use quite a fine brush for this. So, yeah, I've got a spot brush. It's only a size two, it's quite tiny. It's good for doing things like this. It'll only allow you to pick up so much paint anyway. And so thinking that the veins themselves come from the centre and then they just break up in all sorts of different directions. So we're just going to give suggestions. Not trying to do solid lines, we're just giving an indication of where they're going. Right up to the tip, and then similarly. We can do a similar thing to this, but we've just got to watch the, the shadow area on here. And I'm going to have to add a little bit more green for this one. Otherwise the colour's too stark. too heavy.
then now I've got to make them much darker uh, because obviously they're going over the the shadow area. So although there is some yellow there, I'll just try that bit out. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just going to follow this one through here. It's not quite dark enough. Better. And so there we've got the veins going through. It's just um Basically just a few lines, trying not to think about them too much. You get lost in it all then and you end up trying to do too many and it looks like a patchwork quilt. So it's just indications. And then the eye will just fill it all in and do the rest. And there we are. Last thing to do now is just to put those very dark spots in between. So I'm going to use some of the light red and ultramarine blue. Make a very dark brown. And I'm going to use that to to fill these um, little gaps where the what I call little pineapple shapes are. I'm just going to paint in between, and that's not dark enough, so I need my paint to be thicker. That's better.
just gives me a chance to tidy up the edges as well if I need to, which I have done there. I can just put a few little marks coming down there. Dark. And there we have it, a camellia bud with two leaves. I'm thinking about the shape and the colours and how loose you can work this kind of thing here. Just letting the paint flow around and do most of the job for you and just put your highlight on them later on. And there we have it. So close up. And that's it for this evening. So I hope you enjoyed that demo and I look forward to seeing you at my next session. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Thank you.